So one of the main things that I wanted to show you all in this clip is my note taking system. At the beginning of the school year, I did a video where I set up a analog an analog system for taking notes and I was really excited about it. Thought it was working. It wasn't. It wasn't a very smooth workflow for me. And I thought that digital was going to be the way I wanted to go and so I tried Notion for most of the semester. But what I discovered is that I wasn't able to remember things nearly as well as I would have with digital or excuse me with handwritten notes. I took handwritten notes all through undergrad and really all through my master's degree too and so trying digital was very new for me. What appealed to me about Notion was the ease with which I could take my notes and I loved the customizability of it being able to organize things not just my notes but digital files, assignments, keeping track of timelines and dates, syllabi, it was great for that. But then after learning more about Notion and the potential security risks that it has, I started getting nervous that I might eventually lose all my work at some point. In addition to that, I started noticing that my memory wasn't as good. There's something about handwritten notes and having tangible notebooks that changes your relationship to your work, to the things that you remember, and I'm really craving tangible artifacts that I can craft and make. Maybe it's the medieval in me. Maybe it's the idea of having manuscripts, having books that I just wasn't ready to let go of. And so I picked up a Midori notebook. This is just a plain um, grid notebook that they sell. These are surprisingly really cheap and there's really good quality. There's lots of pages. We're at the end of the semester, essentially I only have one more week of classes. And so I'll be able to carry this into the spring semester. I've, I've barely scratched the surface, but I love this notebook for several reasons. One, affordability. Two, the quality is, is really, really nice. And then I love being able to customize the cover. I just put on some pictures, one of my wax seals. This is the motto for Oxford. Um, asking the Lord to illuminate us um, in our learning. And then of course English because that's what I'm studying. So I, I did that for my cover. And I'm just taking notes for every single class in here. I am not having one notebook for each class. I'm just having one notebook for the entire semester and then clearly marking the date and the topic. And I just bring one notebook to school. And that has been working really well for me. Something else I like is that because the pages are bigger, this is A5 size, I can customize how I want the text to be laid out and I've experimented with different ways. I've done margins on the left um, with larger text on the, um, on the right. I've then experimented with margins on the outer and most of the text in the inner. And I'm really liking this. Having margins is, is really cool. I learned, we learned about medieval manuscripts and how when scribes and clerics were designing books for themselves, they wanted to have wide margins. They wanted to be able to take notes, annotate things, add things, make comments, even draw illustrations in the margins. And that has really changed the way I take notes because I can make my main ideas down here and then if there's just kind of an aside or maybe there's a thought that comes to my mind that might end up being a paper topic or a question that I want to explore more later, I can put that in the side. I frequently doodle in class as my mind um, gets a little bit overwhelmed. I will sometimes resort to, to drawing while I listen and that seems to help relax me when I'm having anxiety in class. I, I did a more, where's, where's the tree picture that I did? Yeah, I've done, I like to draw trees. Trees are a relaxing thing for me to, to doodle in my class classes. But anyway, so I really enjoyed this. Oh, and the other thing that I'll do is I will mark if there's a really important idea that I had in class, I'll mark it with a box. Um, this is the first time I've done that in, um, in this notebook, but it's a system that I'm going to try to implement where I, I mark down key ideas. So that way at the end of the semester, say I'm looking for a paper topic, or maybe it's going to be something related to my dissertation, then I can do that later. But this is my school notebook. I've absolutely loved it. I might experiment with other A5 notebooks. I might experiment with Hobonichi's notebooks. The thing about Hobonichi though is that they're more expensive and the paper's really thin. It's supposed to be really good paper and I've even, I've got some Hobonichi paper to show you, but 
the Midori is actually working great and I don't, because it's not expensive, I'm not worried about it getting beaten up. And what I will end up doing is after I finish this notebook, I will just take it out of the cover and start a new one. So that's, that's my school system. Another thing that I'm doing for school is using a Hobonichi Weeks for my calendar. I was previously using a traveler's insert for this, but it was getting close to the end and it was an undated insert. And I wanted a more, I wanted a calendar book with more features in it than just a traveler's insert would have. And I wanted it to be separate from everything else. I love the Hobonichi company. I love their products. They're really, really cool. And the paper, even though it is really thin, it's great to write with. And it's, it's got a really small grid. That's the one thing I don't necessarily love as much about the Midori is that it's a bigger grid. I like writing smaller, but it's perfect for this book. And I've set this book up to do lots of different things for me. It's not just a calendar for school, although it's primarily that. It's really a calendar for my entire life because I'm trying to get into some better habits, get into some better routines so that I don't get burnt out during this, this program at school because I did not take care of myself as well as I should have. This semester I ended up getting really sick and now we're at the end of the semester and I, I'm utterly exhausted. And so I'm hoping that by having this and documenting what I want to do, tangibly writing things out, it will help me get into a better, better routine. So I've decorated the cover. This is a 2024 weeks, but it started this week. The calendar started in November. So I'll go ahead and show you how I've decorated it with just a few stickers. Here, what I'm planning to do is mark the days that I have off in highlighters. I was going to mark the days I'm in school, but I decided, no, I want to highlight the days that I'm off so that I can see at a glance when I'm going to get a break. I thought that would be more motivating for me. This is the yearly index. And what I plan to do with this, this doesn't start till January 1st, so I can't fill it in yet. But what I'm going to do is use this to keep track of how often I pray the daily office. As part of the Anglican tradition, we pray the Book of Common Prayer both morning and evening, and that's called the daily office. My goal is to at least pray either morning or evening prayer most days, if not every day. I'm trying to be realistic and give myself the space to know I'm probably not going to be doing it every day and, and not to not to set myself up for an impossible goal, but I'm going to try. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to do it every day, especially evening prayer. I really prefer evening prayer. I love the prayers in that in that selection best, I find. But this way I can see at a glance in two pages the entire year essentially and how well I'm doing. Each column is a month and so I'll be able to just mark what I did. I'll probably put morning, evening, or both like M, E, or B to mark whether I did um, one or the other or both. After the daily office page then we have, there's like a little ink spot here, I'm not sure where that came from, but this is the monthly spreads and so I'm going to use this to keep track of major due dates and then also just document things I did. I'm also finding that my memory has not been as great lately. I think it's because I'm just exhausted and I don't like the feeling that time is slipping away from me, that things are blurring together and that I'm not remembering just ordinary beautiful moments I guess. It's not that I do a whole lot of really exciting things throughout my day but I just I want to keep track of my memories better and remember when I had a particularly fun day with Bear or painted something that I really liked. Maybe, you know, read a book or watched a movie that was something that I really enjoyed. And so I'll use that to keep track of those things. And then obviously write down appointments as well. And each month I'll probably use this list section for different things. This month I'm obviously using it for Christmas carols that I have enjoyed or am enjoying for, for Christmas. And so I'll decorate you know, each of these each month. And then it has weekly pages where you can fill in your weekly routines. On this side, I'm using it just for like a really quick journal entry, like, you know, a brain dump session. I don't do it every day because sometimes I go over the daily box and so I'll just draw a line at the end of each little entry and fill it in that way. And then on this side, on the blank side, I'm listing out just the things I need to do just to take care of myself, take care of Bear, just ordinary chores and habits that I want to get into. And then I'll have a section for school work, whether I'm in school or not. If I'm not in school, this will probably be a place where I put 
things that I want to work on to prepare for school, either lesson planning or working through my reading list, you know, things like that. And then down here, I want to put the collect for the week in my week so that I can see it every day. So part of the Anglican um, liturgical tradition is that every week there's a different prayer that goes with that week and you, you pray it every day as part of morning or evening prayer and it starts on Sundays. And so what I want to do is each week write out the prayer for the week so that way I can kind of keep it in my thoughts and remind myself of the things that we're thinking about as Anglicans throughout the week. And then at the bottom, I want to just track some fun things. What am I reading? What am I watching or gaming? What games am I playing? And then what am I creating? And um, yeah, so that's gonna be where I just keep track of my life. It's kind of like a liturgy for my daily life to not to um, redefine a religious term, but I'm wanting to create new habits and routines. And this so far has been really helping me do that. It's, it's giving me a space to craft my days and craft my week in a tangible way that I can see and, and refer back to. And then in the very back, there are some notes pages that are just, this is basically like a, a second commonplace book for me. I'll, I'll show you my main commonplace book. But this one is primarily going to be school related because I'll have this in my bag at school or you know just places to keep track of some things. I will, I'll put lots of different things in here. I've got a key where I'll put commonplace quotes, prayers, ideas for writing, art inspiration, photography, and then reference material. It's probably going to be mostly school related. Um, we'll see. I'm not I'm not spending too much time on this. I did kind of just set some intentions for what I want to do for the notebooks themselves, for self-care things that I want to do starting in the new year. And then over here I made a list of textbooks and school supplies that I need to get for the spring because my semester will be coming. I know this one's just not ending but my new one starts before I know it and so I'm already planning so that the Christmas holiday doesn't get away from me and I don't forget to get prepared for the spring. So this will probably not get filled up super quickly. It's not a very long section, only 70 pages, but it'll be it'll be good just to have in the back. This this cover I got has a pen loop. It's like the Midori cover that I had, but yeah, so the Hobonichi Weeks, this is the regular version. There's a mega one, but I didn't, I don't feel like I need the mega one. I think the small one's good enough for me. These three are going to be like the extension of my creative brain, essentially. Um, the brain that is not the school brain. These are my school, school books. These are my life books, essentially. Um, and they each serve different purposes. So I have field notes. I've been using these for a few months now since the summer. I really like these just for beat up books that I can just kind of carry around and put anything and everything in that I just need to be able to quickly jot some stuff down. I was carrying this in my purse and I put sermon notes in here. If I had a school meeting, I would jot down stuff in there. And then um, over here, this is actually a surprise I'm working on for um, a new series I'm starting in my channel, but more on that later. But this is just kind of a, of a catch all in a really haphazard way. And then if there's anything that I want to save more permanently, so like the sermon notes, what I'll do is at the end of the book, I will go through and either cut the pages out or copy the information down into a more permanent book. This is just kind of a, a quick, let's gather some ideas. I've got one of these in my school backpack too. Like on the way home from school, I got hit with a burst of inspiration. So as soon as we stopped somewhere, I pulled out the, my school field notes book and wrote down an idea for a Tolkien paper. I'm going to try to present a paper at a Tolkien conference, a scholarly paper next summer, and I had an idea that I might want to use for my proposal for that. So those field notes, these are really inexpensive books, but they're great. These two are traveler's notebook systems. This one is just a wanderings travel journal. It's, it's an imitation of the traveler's notebook. I wanted to try it in a more expensive, inexpensive format before I got 
the actual Traveler's Notebook, but I'm definitely going to get one soon because I'm loving this system. I do have the small Passport version. I think I'll start with that one first. So the Passport one, this one lives in my purse, and this one has two inserts plus a wallet, and this one serves a double purpose. This one is for taking sermon notes or Bible study notes when I'm at church. This one's really the only one that's written so far. This is a grid notebook, so I took, a, I got a picture from when I was confirmed, and then I've just jotted down sermon notes. I'm tagging things. If it's a sermon, it'll be one color. If it's Bible study, it'll be another color. If it's a prayer that I want to copy down or a passage, that will be a third color. But so here's different notes from that. I want to take, take pictures of the church or special events in the church just so I can remember things. Again, my memory is not very good lately. I think it's because I'm just not getting enough sleep. And so I want to be able to have tangible reminders of, of things, especially because being in a, in a liturgical church, so I, I set up my spread for Advent. Being in a liturgical church, you've got rhythms and um, traditions that, you know, get observed from year to year. And I want to really be present for those things and make tangible memories of these of these things. This is my first year in a, in a liturgical church. So this will be my first advent in a truly liturgical church. And so I want to document it with artwork, notes, pictures, you know, things like that. So that way I can have a reminder of you know, where I was at spiritually, what I was learning, you know, those kinds of things. But so that's my sermon notebook. The wallet I use to put stickers in so that I can, you know, tag my entries. And I suppose if I was ever like out and about and didn't want to bring my real wallet, I could put, you know, some cash in here and, uh, and have it that way. But haven't really traveled with it much yet. This has been new. And then this insert is blank. Uh, you saw me setting it up in an earlier clip, I think. But this one is going to just be for any random ideas that I want to write down. So I don't carry a field notes in my purse anymore since I have this. So this replaced my field notes. So this will be just anything that strikes me if I'm out and I need to write down an idea, it will go in here. But this is the passport size. I love the dark brown color. I think it's, I think it's beautiful. So this final setup here is actually going to be changing. Um, soon. I think, I think I'm going to be getting a new cover for this eventually. I, like I said, I want to get one of the Traveler's covers for it. This is, this has been a great cover, but I would like to have, have two matching notebooks and leather that's going to last a little longer than this one will. So, but for now this one's working, you know, perfectly fine. But this is going to be my, um, my commonplace book. The setup is actually getting ready, getting ready to change because I guess I'll go ahead and tell you the project that I'm working on. I'm working on setting up a second commonplace book, but it's purely dedicated, dedicated to video gaming. I've recently gotten into playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'm obsessed with that game. It is so much fun. And it's such a complex world, and so many cool things happen in the course of the game. And I want to kind of make like a scrapbook version of playing the game, because it's just... It's kind of like my little kid dreams of going to Middle Earth come true almost. And I'd like to kind of create like a travel travel diary essentially of things in the game. Like things that I do in the game, things that I discover, because there's so much you can do and so many so much of the game is driven by your own choices as a character. And so I want to like track those things. And you can take pictures on your Nintendo Switch, and so I'm gonna use those to, you know, take pictures of some of my favorite moments in the game. And that's what this insert was going to be for. I'm going to take it out and put it into a new one once I get all the rest of the supplies. So the rest of the supplies for this journal will come next week. I won't have a cover yet for it because I need to wait until I need to save up for a new cover for it. I think I'm going to get the blue cover, the blue Traveler's Notebook cover for it. That would be perfect for this. But I'll say more on that later when I get the rest of the supplies. But for now, I'll show you my commonplace book. Again, I've got a wallet where I store pictures and things that I've printed out that I want to save for later or stickers. And then here is a traveler's insert in the grid insert. This actually started off as just a blank insert where I would just jot down different ideas while I was in class. But then as I decided to you know, change up my system, the book got abandoned for a little while 
and I went to digital, but then now I've decided to come back to analog and I've started using this more properly as a commonplace book where I can archive memories, thoughts, creative ideas that I want to do. If you're watching family, don't look at that because it's Christmas stuff. <laughs> um, and any kind of art inspiration. This is just going to be a catch-all of things. Commonplacing is an old tradition, an old book tradition where people would take blank books and use them to just collect everything and anything. Instead of Pinterest and social media, they had books and they would draw pictures, copy down quotes, ideas, excerpts of different things, jot down ideas, academic ideas. I'm also going to incorporate just kind of like free flowing thoughts, like ideas for papers, for things that I want to do differently in my life, all those kinds of things, memories, art inspiration, just anything and everything. Things that I want to remember and be able to come back to are going to go in my commonplace book. And I've only been doing this now for, when did I start these entries? Really just a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, November the 9th is when I decided to turn this into a commonplace book. And I have absolutely loved it. I don't do it every day because I don't have time, but I want to start doing it more and just record, record my thoughts and ideas in a way that I'm not going to lose them forever if I forget them. So that's what this is going to be for. I'm going to get a different cover for this, probably a brown one to match this eventually. This is like future plans. <laughs> um, brown cover that'll match that and I'll just have one insert probably plus the wallet for my commonplace book. That way if I take it anywhere, I can have stickers and other things to put in there. And then The Legend of Zelda. I won't say too much about it because I will show you that one when I get all the rest of the supplies, but this blank insert is gonna be in there. This is a lightweight Tom Tomo River, Tomoy, Tomo, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced multiple different ways. But it's the lightweight paper insert and I really like it because it has extra pages on, in it. And I think that would be great for what I'm wanting to do. I'll explain more about that process later, but these are just pencil boards to help with drawing lines and things like that. But I have loved starting a, a notebook. Um, basically a, a, my own personal manuscript culture in my, in my daily practice. And it's been really, it's been really refreshing to do. It's a very relaxing hobby and it's a very grounding way of keeping track of information. I grew up before cell phones. I didn't get a cell phone until I was out of high school. I didn't get an iPhone, I think, gosh, how old was I when I got an iPhone? I was in my 20s when I got an iPhone. And so I grew up before the social media smartphone revolution and I'm sorry, I miss my notebooks. <laughs> I miss I miss the analog stuff. I'm probably always gonna be one foot in the stone ages for my entire life, but I, uh, I, I like it better. I work better this way and I enjoy having something tangible. There's something, something really cool about having, having books of ideas and inspiration and memories that you actually enjoy looking at. Like I enjoy looking at my notes and making them look aesthetically pleasing and going back and seeing, you know, where, where was I at intellectually, you know, over the semester. And then of course, this one's probably, these two are, are my favorites by far. I love being able to keep track of the, my church life and then just my everyday life. So these are my, these are my faves. But anyway, I hope that was interesting to you. So you're probably going to see on my channel, it's, there's going to be, I really can't come up with just one idea for what I want to do on this channel. And so I think my channel itself is going to be a commonplace channel. It's going to be a little of everything. It'll be notebook stuff, stationary stuff. It'll be school things. It'll be art. It'll be clips from my daily life. Essentially, this is like the first video in a commonplace series of videos for my channel. I will still do watercolor, obviously, because watercolor is a huge part of my life. And so are art hauls and reviewing art supplies. I'm actually going to be starting a huge project, a huge art project in the coming weeks. I'm I didn't really think this idea through, but I'm going to see it through. <laughs> I, I decided I wanted to paint there, you know about this because I've gotten their, you know, input on what they would like for such a big gift, but I'm going to paint my parents 
a huge acrylic painting. I say huge. It's huge for me. I usually paint little bitty stuff. <laughs> As you've seen, I'm not used to painting huge things. I mean, I don't often paint this small, but I tend to work small. This piece is going to be like 24 by 48 inches. It's a, it's a big canvas. It's the biggest thing I've ever painted in my life. And I'm going to definitely document that for you and document that experience and let you know how that goes. So you're going to see a lot of painting still on the channel, but painting is not everything I do. It's just one of the things that I do. And I want a channel that's going to be able to grow and be flexible for all the things that I'm interested in, which is, which is quite a lot of things. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any recommendations for notebooks that you think I should try, definitely let me know. But as far as planners go, I'm pretty sold on Hobonichi and I'm pretty sold on Traveler's notebooks. I just, I love the flexibility of them and I love the leather. It feels like the continuation of manuscript culture. You have, you have a book that's bound and you can add things to it and you can change it. It's just really cool. Really the only place that I could take suggestions would be my school notebook. But like I said, this one's working pretty good and it's cheap, they're easy to get. And yeah, really my only complaint is the grids are too big. I like to write smaller, but anyway. Well, I will see you guys next week, hopefully, and I'll, I'll show you my, my new gaming journal that I'm getting ready to set up. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.